I'm just putting up a short video here showing the um, Mode S Beast that I have wired into a Raspberry Pi 2 uh, just got running. And what this does is enable you to uh, run the Beast without a direct connection into Plane Plotter. Uh, it uses a TCP IP connection. So normally the Beast has the, um, the USB connection out here. And that goes into your uh, desktop computer, which has a driver that uh, takes serial data, transmit it over that USB connection, and feeds it in directly into Plane Plotter on the PC. What this does is the, um, the Raspberry Pi 2 that I have uh, mounted to the top of the Beast here with some double sticky tape. Um, takes the USB connection, it has a driver that supports the chip inside the Beast, and it accepts the serial data into the um, into the uh, into the Raspberry Pi 2. And there's two pieces of software, one called Mode S Mixer 2, that can read in the serial uh, input of the USB port, and it can output it on a, a TCP port, in this case 30005. So it rebroadcasts that, and Plane Plotter can then connect to the um, to that port and receive its input that way, rather than through the serial input option, which uh, is really nice. Uh, the advantage of this is that it can also send uh, data from Mode S Mixer 2 to another piece of software that normally comes with Dump 1090, which is the um, the um, the RA20T. A decoder that runs on a Raspberry Pi, but it, it also has a component called uh, Plane Plotter Upload um, or PP Up 1090, and that will take input from that same port out of Modus Mixer 2 on the Raspberry Pi and uh, autonomously upload data and support MLAT operation on the internet without having Plane Plotter running or without having your PC running. So, so the advantage there is that you've got an independent. Um, ground station that is MLAT capable and capable of delivering uh, MLAT service to the um, to the network. So uh, it's it's quite a power saver and uh, you really don't sacrifice any capability. The one kind of uh, anomaly there is you actually have two ground stations operating. Uh, you've got one on your plane plotter, you've got one on um, one directly out of the Raspberry Pi. But that causes no problem because only a single instance is servicing the uh, MLAT request based on how you have port forwarding configured on on your router. So anyway, this is the this is just kind of the hardware. So it, it's a little clunky looking, but it, it works. You can see the USB connection. One thing I did add that is uh, really nice is that a Raspberry Pi, if you are to lose power or just disconnect the power connector on the back here, without issuing the shutdown command um, or the halt command from the um, PuTTY terminal, because we're running headless here without a keyboard or screen. Uh, can potentially damage the little micro SD card that holds the software. So I did install a daemon process or a service process that is interrupt driven and it detects the uh, button presses on the button that I've installed on the top of the case here that came with the unit. I had a nice little hole drilled there that was perfect for it and I used some of these jumper wires to connect. And there's a couple of resistors you have to solder onto the onto the bottom of the switch that are covered in shrink tubing there. But the net effect of this is you can either shut down or reboot the system without actually having to log in on a terminal and uh, issue the halt or the or the reboot command. And uh, the fact that it's interrupt driven means it doesn't consume any CPU utilization. So it works extremely well. And the way it works is that if I press the button once, it issues a halt and shuts the system down. And you basically just wait until the activity light on the SD card finishes blinking, meaning that the um, meaning that the um, Modus Mixer 2 software is finished writing its inputs out to the uh, base station SQB database. And then you can turn the power off if you need to do some kind of maintenance or move the system. If you just want to reboot it, uh, instead of pressing it once for a short press, you just press and hold it for two seconds or more and that initiates a reboot. So. If I hold this down, you won't see it because there's no uh, console up or anything, but if I hold it down, it's been over two seconds, you can see there the, the system has uh, restarting, so it's turned off the serial port, it's no longer accepting data. So the blue light comes on and that just indicates that the receiver is still working and the data that it's receiving is backing up in the, uh, in the FIFO. 
So there you can see the serial port is shut down completely for the reboot. There it's reinitialized the driver and waiting for the process to start to start accepting data again. So um, we'll wait for that. It should just take a few seconds. There it's turned on the serial port and there it's actually Modus Mixer 2 is actually restarted again. And it's now uploading data uh, to the uh, plane plotter sharing servers and it's also simultaneously sending data out to um, the plane plotter process running on my LAN on my PC. So that's uh, that's the setup. Works quite well and uh, the little push button switch is, is very handy. I'll post the uh, link that it has instructions on how to download and compile that and, and wire that into your system. Thanks for listening.